All right, welcome everyone, good evening. My name is Amy and this is Yoga Buzz Online. Thanks for joining us tonight for an all levels flow. I've included a playlist for you tonight in the comments if you'd like to have some music with your flow. Um, it's 70s themed, just for fun. So, or you can play whatever music you like or no music at all is fine too. Um, so we appreciate your continued support and we'll go ahead and get started on our mat today in a comfortable seat. So you can sit with your legs crossed or maybe set your hips back on your heels, but try to sit nice and tall. And let your shoulders relax down the back. And then if you'd like, you can close your eyes or maybe find a spot on the ground that you can focus on. And start to bring that attention inward. Maybe noticing your natural breathing pattern. Maybe noticing the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe. And then see if you can intentionally take some longer inhales. Inhale through the nose and then exhale through the nose. Try that again. Inhale and exhale. And again, inhale, really fill up the lungs. And exhale to empty. All right, if your eyes are closed, you can start to open them. And go ahead, bring your right hand down to the mat. Reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. And then reach it up overhead and over to the right side, finding a side body stretch. So think of pressing into that left hip, maybe the right hand, reaching up and over with the top arm. And then slowly come back up and we'll switch sides. So left hand comes down, right hand reaches. Reach up first and then reach it over. Press into that right hip. Maybe look under your right shoulder. That feels okay on your neck. Press back up. We'll do the other side again. This time, inhales, you reach up. Exhales, you reach over. Inhale to come back up. And exhale to reach over to the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side stretch. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, side stretch. And press yourself back up. And relax those shoulders down the back. Bring your hands to your knees. And then we're gonna do some seated cat cows. So start to round the spine. So finding like a C curve. And then tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Look in towards your belly button. So this is our seated cat. Then start to lift the gaze, lift the chest, slide the hands back closer towards the hips. For cow. And round it back to cat. Bring those shoulders forward, tuck the chin. And bring the shoulders back, start to look up for cow pose. If you want to add breath to movement, inhale here in cow. Exhale back to cat. Inhale cow. Exhale cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, back to cat. And just keep going at your own pace. 
You can always take out the breath to movement and just breathe naturally. And then let's be back with a flat back, sitting up nice and tall again. And then bring your right hand behind you, left hand to the right knee. Sit up as tall as you can. And then start to turn your chest and twist towards the right. And if it feels okay on your neck, you can turn to look over your back shoulder. Gently start to come back forward, and we'll take the other side. So left hand back, right hand crosses. Sit up tall first, and then start to twist to the left. And gently come back forward, and we'll do the other side again. So this time, inhale as you reach up and sit tall. Exhale to twist. And over to the other side. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale to twist. And back to the right once more. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist. Come back forward and last hand to the left. Inhale. And exhale, twist. And slowly come out of that twist. Uh, let's go ahead and come towards the top of our mat in a forward fold. So we're going to bring the feet and the hands to the mat. And then go ahead, reach the hips up towards the ceiling. Let your head and your hands hang heavy towards the mat. Your feet can be about hip distance apart or maybe slightly wider than that. And feel free to keep a bend in the knees here. And then if it feels good on your neck, you can shake the head yes. And shake the head no. Maybe shake out the legs a little bit. Or move the hips from side to side. You can grab your elbows with your hands. Anything that feels good in your first forward fold of the day. Just kind of loosen things up and shake it out. And then start to bring your hands up to maybe the shins or even the thighs. But keep your back flat parallel with the ground for halfway left. So reach out through the crown of the head. Keep those shoulders out of the ears. And remember not to hold your breath. And then look, go ahead, slide those hands back down towards the mat, fold forward. So adding some breath to movement here, inhale to come to halfway lift, exhale to fold forward. Bend the knees, lift the chest, we're going to come all the way up to standing, and take some shoulder rolls down the back, so bring those shoulders up towards the ears, and then slide them back down, so just opening through the chest. And you can even interlace your hands behind the back. And reach those hands down and then away from the body, opening up through the chest a little more. And slowly release, bring your palms together in front of the heart at heart center. Feet are about hip distance apart, maybe wider. Inhale to press the palms up. And then exhale as you lower, fold forward. So let those hands. Reach towards the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. Step your right foot back and then your left foot back for a plank. You can come onto the knees for your plank as well. And you can hold your plank or you could add a push up, a yoga push up. So keep those elbows by your side. And then press back up. And then let's all meet in down dog. So press those hips up and back. And it's our first down dog of the day, so go ahead, pedal off the feet. 
Maybe move the hips around from side to side, anything that feels good. You can shift your weight forward and back. Just let the head and neck relax. Feel free to keep the knees bent. And think more of finding length through the spine and reaching that chest towards the thighs. Then go ahead and look towards the top of your mat and step your feet back behind your hands again. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach up, bring the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. And let's try that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back, left foot back, plank. Option to lower the knees. Option to add a push-up or hold your plank. You don't have to do the push-up. And then we'll meet back in down dog. And stay here for a few breaths. Maybe think of reaching those hips a little higher. Really press your hands into the mat. Fingers spread wide. And start to look forward. And walk the feet back behind the hands. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Big inhale, come back up, reach up. Exhale, heart center. One more time, a little quicker. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to plank. You can hold your plank or add the push up. And come back to your down dog. Take a deep breath here in down dog. And start to step those feet forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, lift the chest. Stand it up, reach up. And exhale, heart center. All right, we're going to add a chair pose to our flow. So you can bring your feet about your toes together, or you can have your feet hip distance apart even a little wider. So whatever feels good on your hips, your knees, your ankles. But keep the chest lifted tall. And then see if you can engage that core, maybe slightly tuck the, the tailbone or the pelvis in. Keep the shoulders down and back. Hands can be together at heart center. And then start to press the hips back and down. Find your chair. Maybe reach the arms forward. Or extend the arms up, reaching through the fingertips here. Stay in chair. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to your plank. This time, no push-up. We're going to lower all the way down to the mat. So you might want to lower your knees first. We're going to take the chest all the way down. And go ahead, untuck the toes. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Bring your hands under your shoulders. And then roll those shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze your elbows in. So legs are strong. And then reach that chest forward and up for a baby cobra. Maybe even see if you can lift your hands off the mat, knowing that you are using your posture muscles to help you lift up. And then you can relax and press back up to maybe hands and knees or to plank. Tuck the toes, press the hips up and back, down dog. Reach the right leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. 
Bend the right knee, step that foot forward in between the hands for a low lunge. And then spin that back heel down to the mat. So your toes are almost at a 45 degree angle. And then bring your hips back towards the front of the room. And then you can walk your hands up the thigh or lift the chest, lift the hands, the arms for warrior one. So both hips are facing the short edge of the mat. And think of bringing down towards the outer edge of that back foot. Stay here, inhale. Exhale, lower the hands back down. Turn those back toes forward. And take the right foot back all the way to three-legged dog again. And then go ahead and set that down, regular down dog. Stay here for a couple breaths, just kind of shake it out. Move it around, whatever feels good. And look forward. And this time you can step or maybe add a little hop to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. And this time we're gonna pop up to our chair pose. So adjust your stance if you need to, maybe bringing the feet closer together or further apart. Start to bend your knees, lower your hips, lift the chest, maybe lift the arms, chair pose. So see if you can engage that core. Stay here, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. So back to your plank again. And we're going to lower it all the way down to the mat. Press onto the tops of the feet. And lift that chest forward and up. Baby cobra. Squeeze those elbows back behind you. Maybe test yourself. See if you can lift your hands off the mat. And then you can start to relax, press back up to hands and knees or all the way to plank and back to down dog. Lift the left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend the left knee, step that foot forward in between the hands, low lunge. Then spin that back heel down, toes at a 45 degree angle or so. And then move those hips forward. When you're ready, lift the chest, lift the arms. Warrior one. So if warrior one feels a little too awkward or hurts your back ankle, you can come up onto the ball of that foot and do a regular uh, high lunge here. So that's always a good option too. So from your warrior one, inhale. Exhale, lower the hands back down. Turn that back foot forward again. And then when you're ready, step back with the left leg, three-legged dog. And lower it back down. Stay in down dog for a few breaths. Maybe think of reaching the hips higher as you inhale. Maybe pressing the heels back as you exhale. Look forward, step or hop to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're gonna do one more chair pose, so stay with me. Bend those knees, start to lift the chest, lift the arms. Squeeze everything in towards the middle, the thighs, the core, the arms. One more inhale. Exhale, fold forward, and just relax here. Again, let the head hang heavy. Maybe shake it out again, yes and no. Or shake out the legs. Maybe grab the elbows, move from side to side. And from our forward fold, Take a big step back with your right leg, and then we're going to 
Turn it out to the side for a wide-legged forward fold. So again, let your head hang heavy. And then start to bend the knees, bring the hands to the hips, lift the chest, come back up to standing. Heel toe those feet in close to each other, and we'll take it back to the top of the mat. Bring your hands together in prayer. Go ahead and reach them up overhead. Inhale. And then exhale, reach over to the right. So finding a stretch through the left side of the body. And you can look down, forward, or maybe even turn your head to look under your top arm. And then reach your hands back up, separate the hands. And then take a big step back with your right leg. So finding a high crescent lunge here. So our hips are facing the front of the mat. Back leg is lifted strong. Think of lifting the back of the thigh towards the ceiling. Try to stand tall out of the hips. It's a nice posture. Stay here for one more inhale. Exhale, lower the hands, bring that butt. And then drop that back knee. Bring your left knee back to meet it and set up for um, on all fours. So bring your knees under your hips, your wrists under your shoulders. Flat back. And then extend your right leg back behind you. Left arm up in front of you. So turn your palm in so your thumb is up. And then maybe reach that right foot off the mat. You can stay here or we're gonna add a bird dog. So bring elbow to knee, round through the back, and then extend it back long again. So try that again, elbow to knee, and then extend. And just keep going at your own pace. I'm gonna try to do 10, because we're only gonna do this once on each side. But just do as many as feels good to you, and then come back to your tabletop. You could even do some cat cows here. And I've already lost count, so I'm going to do a couple more. And then come back to all fours. So kind of shake it out. Maybe add some cat cows here. So rounding through the spine, tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone. Then lifting the gaze, lift the heart, lift the hips for cow. And back to cat and just keep going at your own pace. And then we'll meet back in tabletop. So all fours, flat back. Reach your right leg back behind you, and then your left foot is going to kind of turn out to the side a little bit. We're going to set up for a side plank. So start to reach that right arm up. Right leg comes back. So you want to stack the shoulder over the wrist or slightly behind it. I like to keep mine slightly behind it. Extending the top arm up towards the ceiling. And then trying to stack the hips, stack the shoulders and keep the hips lifted. Even though my, my knee is down, I'm still keeping that lift through the hips. So try not to hold your breath. And then we'll come back down to all fours. And go ahead, take the um, toes back. We'll find our down dog. So hips come up. Take a couple breaths and down dog. Look forward, step our hops to forward pull. And slowly come on up to standing this time, just nice and slow. Maybe finding a few shoulder rolls again at the top of the mat. And just kind of shake it out if you need to. Maybe grab a glass of water. And then we'll keep moving. 
So feet about hip distance apart. Bring those palms together in front of the heart. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, reach over to the left, this time side stretch. See if you can try to keep those hips in line. Sometimes we want to let that opposite hip come forward. So try to keep your hips in line. Keep your shoulders in line. And maybe look under that top arm. Let's reach it back up. Separate the hands at the top. And this time we're going to take a big step back with the left leg. I'm going to come this way. So step it back. Find your high crescent lunge here. Back leg is strong. Front knee is bent. Shoulders out of the ears. Arms squeezing towards each other. Inhale. Exhale, drop the hands down and bring the foot. And this time let's step it back to a down dog. Then bring both knees down to the mat underneath the hips. Bring those hands in underneath the shoulders. And I'm going to move my mat a little bit here. So find all fours. And then this time, left leg comes back, right arm comes forward. You can see here, add the bird dog. So add the elbow to knee. Try to do as many on this side as you did on the last side. So I'm going to try not to lose count this time. Or you could go straight to your cat cows if you like that better. Couple more. When you're done, we'll meet back in tabletop on all fours. And then take a few cat cows, just as many as feels good for you here. You could also maybe find some movement in the hips. Shift that weight forward and back if that feels good. It's kind of release any tension in the body here. Catch your breath. And then we'll go ahead and walk those hands forward again. Tuck the toes, press the hips up and back, down dog. And then look forward. Step the feet forward to forward fold. And then this time we're going to turn towards the long edge of the mat again. Turn the toes towards the long edge and fold forward in this wide-legged stance here. Let the head hang heavy. And then bend those knees, bring the hands to the hips, and slowly come back up. Alright, so wide legged -like stance, toes facing the long edge of the mat. And then turn your left toes forward and line up your left heel with the center of your right foot. Bend your left knee. And then you might notice here that you might have to readjust your stance. So if your knee is going over your ankle, you might have to take it out a little wider. Or if you feel too wobbly, maybe come closer together or further apart. Add the arms, so bring them parallel with your mat. Keep the shoulders down and back, core engaged. Look over your left middle finger. Warrior two pose. So we're gonna hold it here for a couple breaths. So deep breaths here, inhaling through the nose. And maybe letting that breath out, open mouth exhale this time. Letting go of some of that heat in the body. From here, turn your left palm up towards the ceiling. Take that left hand up, right hand back behind you. For reverse warrior, keep that bend in that front knee. And maybe reach it up and over behind you, if that feels okay. Your back hand can rest on your back thigh. You could even come to your back or over towards your um, front thigh. Good. 
Come back to warrior two. Now we're gonna to start to turn our back toes forward, hips forward. You might have to readjust your stance a little bit for that high crescent lunge. One more time on this side. Then start to reach the arms down and back, chest forward for airplane. You may have to readjust your stance a little bit here. So reach out through the crown of the head and then reach behind you with your fingertips. Squeeze those arms towards each other. Strong airplane pose. Inhale to reach back up. Exhale, lower the hands down, frame that foot. And this time we're gonna step back to a plank pose. So left foot comes back, set up for your plank. And then we're gonna do um, those side planks again. So right arm reaches up. And you can have that knee grounded again, or you could extend both legs this time. It's up to you. And maybe stagger the feet or stack them. So again, try not to hold your breath. Hips are lifted strong. Reach out through the crown of the head, out through the heels of the feet. Come back to your plank pose, and then lower the knees here, bring the hips back over the heels, find a child's pose. Take a couple deep breaths here. And then go ahead and look up, and start to walk those feet back to forward fold. And then we're going to step back with the right leg again. Find that wide-legged fold. And then maybe shake the head yes and shake the head no. Bend the knees, bring the hands to the hips, lift the chest up, come up to standing. This time the right foot is going to point forward. Line up the right heel with the back foot. Bend that knee, adjust your stance if you need to. Lift tall through the hips. Add the arms, look over your right fingertips for your two. So I always like to think of rooting through the back side of my back foot. That kind of just helps keep my legs strong. And then sometimes I take my front knee out a little wider just to make some more space. And then reach those fingertips towards opposite ends of the room. Then go ahead, flip your right palm up towards the ceiling. Bring that left hand back, right hand up. And then maybe reach that arm up and over behind you for reverse warrior. Maybe add the bind with the bottom hand or rest it on your, your thigh. Come back to warrior two. Take a breath. Then start to turn that back, that left foot forward, hips forward, arms come up, crescent lunge. Lift the chest forward, arms come back, airplane. So reaching out through the top of the head and then out through the fingertips behind you. Reach back up again, inhale. Exhale, drop the hands down, frame that foot. Step back to plank. When you're ready, left arm comes up this time. Maybe have the right knee grounded or feet staggered or stacked. Side plank. Couple more breaths. Hard part's almost done. Come back to plank. Lower those knees to the mat. Sit the hips back, child's pose. So take a couple deep breaths here.
And then walk those hands back towards you, sit up on your heels. And then go ahead, come back to all fours. And I'm going to turn back this way. So come back to all fours. And let's add a few cat cows. Just because it feels really nice. And come back to tabletop, flat back. And then bring your, we're going to do a pigeon or half pigeon. So bring your right knee to the outside of your right wrist. Walk your left leg back behind you. And then make sure that knee is outside of the hip line. Your right shin can be anywhere from parallel with your mat to your, um, heel meeting your hip. So I'll turn this way too, so maybe you guys can see better this way. But for me, it feels weird on my ankles and my knees to try to have my leg parallel with the mat. So I actually like to bring my heel closer to my hip. It just feels better on my joints. And then I make sure both my hips are in line with each other. So I'm not just like resting on my right hip but they're both lifted off of the mat. And then maybe you want to stay here with the chest lifted. Or if you feel good, you can start to come down onto the forearms. Or if you have a block, you could rest your forearms on the block. You could also rest your head on the block if that feels good. Try to flex those front toes just to protect your joints some more. And your back toes could be tucked or untucked. That's up to you. Start to walk those hands back towards you if you were folded forward. And then tuck the back toes, lift that knee, press that right leg back, come back to all fours. So set up again for tabletop, flat back, and we'll take the other side. So left knee comes to the outside of the left wrist, left hip. Right leg extends back behind you, just straight back. Both hips are lifted off the mat. Chest is lifted, toes are flexed, your front toes. Maybe stay here or maybe start to fold forward over that front leg. And again, finding any variation that feels best for you, maybe using the block, maybe stacking your forearms and resting your head down. I always like that one too. You could even extend your arms out in front of you and come all the way down. Start to walk your hands back towards you, press up. And this time we are going to come onto the left hip. So I'll turn around this way again. So this time go ahead and come onto that left hip. Swing that right leg around in front of you. And sit up tall. And your legs can be crossed here. Nice tall posture. And then bring your arms out to the side and then press your hands like you're telling someone to, to keep their distance. And then let's take it to the right twist pulse. And then come back through the middle over to the other side, twist and pulse again. And over to the right again, pulse. And twist and pulse. And just keep going at your own pace. Giving a nice twist here as we start to cool down. Make sure you get both sides evenly. And then you can relax the arms down and lower down. Very nice. Let's do a few more cat cows here. So round through the spine, tuck the chin. Lift the gaze, lift the chest. 
round again. Look up one more time, inhale. Exhale to relax. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take it down. Bring those feet to the back. Reach your arms out in front of you and slowly come on down all the way to the mat. Walk those heels in towards you and then go ahead and hug those knees in. You can wrap your arms around your shins, maybe rock from side to side or back and forth, whatever feels good here. And then feel free to take any last pose that feels good to you today. I always like waterfall or happy baby. So for waterfall, just allowing the legs to come up straight. And if you have a wall handy, you can even get your hips close to the wall and then throw those legs up against the wall, letting them rest, letting that blood flow down. If you don't have a wall handy, that's okay. Just keep your legs up towards the ceiling. And you can even use your hands behind your thighs for more support. If you are using a wall, feel free to let your feet go out and just kind of splay out either direction. And then set up for your Shavasana. So maybe if your legs are up against the wall, you want to stay here. And that's fine. Um, or you could come on down to your mat. And let your legs long, your arms long. You can also come onto your side using your bottom arm as a pillow. Or you could come up to a comfortable seat as well. So find your final resting pose. Something that feels good that you can stay in for a few minutes. And feel free to stay there even after class if you have time tonight. Um, give yourself a few more, few more minutes. So wherever you're at, I invite you to close your eyes or maybe find a spot on the floor or if your legs are up the wall on the ceiling. Bring that attention inward again. Notice your natural breathing pattern again. Maybe it's more shallow or breathing a little faster than when we started class today. And just allow it to be what it is. So please stay here as long as you like and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much for continuing to support Yoga Buzz. Uh, we do appreciate um, donations if you're able, um, but we really appreciate you allowing us to guide you in your yoga practice tonight. So thank you guys. We'll see you next time.